Hey everybody, it's Amanda again. I'm just sitting in the car rider's line waiting to pick up my middle child from school. And I was thinking about a couple things that happened yesterday that were really interesting. And they're interesting because it happened twice and not just once. Once would be, you know, write it off as something else. Twice is like, I don't know, this particular thing it seems <clears throat> interesting. <laughs> so I thought I would tell you. So I couldn't sleep. Uh, I woke up with the um, equinox. <laughs> I woke up at the time and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I laid there in bed for a couple hours and I couldn't, um, I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I thought, well, I might as well get up and do something constructive. So I got up and I did my Monday channeling and uh, I was sitting there, I think I was making the, um, the image for the thumbnail. And, um, and all of a sudden, I'm sitting up, I'm feeling great, I've just channeled, uh, you know, and it's been, it's been, a, I don't know, 20 minutes or 15 minutes since I, since I channeled the message, and all of a sudden, it's like all the blood start, stop, starts draining from, or something, it, I mean, all I can think of is blood, but it just, it feels like something goes from the top of my head <clears throat> and just drains all the way through my body, slowly just slowly sinks. Everything just went down out of my body. And then I suddenly felt like I was going to vomit. <laughs> like suddenly felt very ill. And I thought, what is going on? Like, do I suddenly have a virus that just kicked in? Or like, what could be the cause of that? And uh, so I went, I went and I took something, I can't remember, ginger or turmeric or something. And I laid down <clears throat> And uh, it lasted for about an hour, and then it stopped, and I thought that was really weird, and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. And I had a horrible day yesterday afternoon and evening. There were confrontations. I hate conflict. I avoid it at all costs, but the universe was like, you're going to, you know, there are some things that you need to, to do, and we're going to make sure that, that you know what's going on. Uh, which I'm grateful for because, you know, after, after the conflicts and the, the negative stuff, um, I actually felt better, which was odd. Anyway, so, <clears throat> so I go to bed last night and I wake up again around the same time as I did the night before. And I laid there for a while and then right as I was about to go back to sleep, the same thing happened, only I was laying down. Starting at the top of my head, something moved through me from the top of my head all slowly all the way down to my feet like something was leaving my body again. Um, only this time I didn't feel like throwing up. I felt very peaceful. Um, so I don't know what that was. I am not um, well versed in, in energies and all that. I mean, I channel, but I don't I know a little about a lot of things, but I don't know a lot about <clears throat> anything but channeling and hypnosis. But uh, I don't know what that was. And, and the, the word that popped into my head was bookends. Like the beginning and the end of a big transformation. Um, and then like, I feel like I'm on a different timeline today. I, everything's so much easier today. Everything just fell into place that I was trying to, to accomplish. Everything just works today. Um, so that was really interesting. And I was just curious as to whether anybody else had a similar experience or has had the experience with the, you know, feeling like something is leaving from the top of your head to your feet. The only other time I felt like that was when I was in hospice with my dad. And it was the moment after he died. And I felt from the top of my head, just something just only it was more tingly. It was like the top of my head tingles slowly all the way down. I thought I was having a panic attack. I never had a panic attack, but I thought, well, this maybe I'm having a panic attack because my dad actually finally is gone. He, he left. But then I was going to do a separate video on this, but I might as well tell you all now. Um, after that, after the, the tingling from the top of my head all the way down to my feet, then this blissful, you know, this oh, amazing bliss, like relief and 
comfort and like just finally like oh I'm home finally finally it's over and I'm home and I thought oh, this must be what he's feeling right now this must be what it's like you know when you die you just everything gets released so now that I say that maybe it was like something releasing a part of me dying and and you know and then another one later, like bookends, like the beginning and the end of, of a, a couple of big transformations or something. Anyway, just thought I'd share. I have a few minutes sitting here. It's raining if you hear a noise in the background. Um, and that's it, really. So if you've heard another story like this, I would love it if you would share. And if it's happened to you, if you would share. Or if you have a story about somebody that... that you know, that you know that passed away, anything you felt um, when they left, that would be cool. I would love to read about that and chat. So, hope y'all are doing okay. Lots of love out to everybody. Thank you so much for being there. Just, you're really, I know I make these videos to put out there, but everybody that comments and, you know, clicks the like button or even the dislike button, I don't care either way you're just you're contributing and and I know that I've got you know soul family out there and people who understand what I'm going through and I understand what you're going through and it's just nice to have a, a group anyway okay I'm really gonna go now love you all bye <laughs>